Queen Elizabeth II's reign covered a period of massive wealth creation throughout the world. As new firms came up in the decades, after World War II, yet most of her fortune is tied up in tangible properties that haven't been precisely appreciated. You are watching Luxury Peak. And in today's video, we will take a look at the net worth of Queen Elizabeth II. So let's get started and speed up the details. With the departure of Queen Elizabeth II. The throne was not only passed to her eldest son Charles, who is now known as King Charles III, but also her personal fortune and a significant portfolio of assets, including the crown jewels and famous castles, were placed in trust. According to Forbes, the Queen's personal wealth is tied to her extensive art and jeweler collections, as well as a pair of private homes, Sandringham House and Balmoral Castle, the latter of which she died. According to Parade Reports Balmoral Castle is worth $140 million, while Sandringham is worth $65 million. Queen Elizabeth II's net worth was $500 million at the time of her death. Queen Elizabeth was not the wealthiest woman in the world. Contrary to common assumption, she wasn't even a billionaire, technically. Forbes magazine estimates the monarchy's overall net wealth to be £72.5 billion, about $88 billion. Elizabeth's possessions were divided into two categories. 1. Assets that she individually owns. 2. Assets held by the Crown Estate. The Queen's personal wealth is made up of art, jewellery, investments, and real estate, including Balmoral Castle in Scotland, where she died on Thursday, and Sandringham House in England. The total worth of these assets is estimated to be $500 million. Buckingham Palace, Kensington Palace, land and assets around London, and the United Kingdom are among the Crown Estate's holdings. This enormous management corporation is controlled by an independent organization, rather than members of the royal family. And any surplus earnings is remitted to the United Kingdom's treasury each year. The Crown Estate is basically a real estate portfolio that neither Elizabeth nor the government possess. If Queen Elizabeth did directly control the Crown Estate, her net worth would certainly exceed $25 billion, making her one of the world's wealthiest individuals. And, while she did not own the Crown Estate, she did profit from its earnings. As she received around $18 million in annual revenue from the Crown Estate last year. So where does the Queen get her money from? Queen Elizabeth II gets her money from three sources the annual sovereign grant payment, the privy purse and her personal wealth and inheritance. Sovereign Grant The amount the Queen receives in her sovereign grant is 15% of the Crown Estate's annual profit. This is a significant property estate in the United Kingdom worth £8.1 billion, which used to be owned by the monarchy, but it is now owned by the Treasury. The Queen received a sovereign grant of £85.9 million in 2020 to 21, which equates to approximately £1.29 per taxpayer. Every year, the official royal family website is required to provide financial reports that explain how this money is spent. The £85.9 million is made up of a core grant of £51.5 million, which pays official travel, property maintenance, and the Queen's household operating expenditures. Privy Purse The Privy Purse of the Queen is the private income she receives from the Duchy of Lancaster. Since 1399, this has effectively been a portfolio of land, property, and other assets held in trust for the sovereign. At the end of March 2021, the Duchy of Lancaster controlled £577.3 million in net assets, resulting in a net surplus of £22.3 million. It includes 45,700 acres of farms in England. Town and Country has noted this was a major source of income for the Queen hitting $30 million in profits in 2020 alone. Personal Wealth and Inheritance According to Parade, inheritances from late members of Queen Elizabeth's family have also increased her net worth. 
This includes the $94 million acquired from the Queen Mother's estate, including paintings, faber jags, horses, and jewels, as well as the majority of the $30 million obtained from the estate of her husband, Prince Philip, who died in April 2021. The Queen also receives 25% of annual profits from the Crown Estate Revenue, which is a portfolio of royal properties worth $28 billion, the remaining 75% goes to the British Treasury. According to Forbes, the Crown Estate gained more than $475 million in earnings in 2020. How much the Queen death will cost? According to British law, the funeral will be funded totally by the state, for example, the Princess Diana funeral, which was seen by 2.5 billion people globally, had a direct cost of $10 million, however, following the Queen's death, the notes must be replaced as well. The Bank of England has about 3.6 billion unique notes in circulation, with the image of Queen Elizabeth II, which must now be replaced with the image of King Charles III, which will cost around $200 million. However, the United Kingdom is not the only country that will have to change their money. Owing to the Queen's picture, other countries have to change notes as well, which will cost around $1 billion. The day of funeral will be designated a national holiday, costing $3 billion, thus the total expenses will be around $8 billion. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more luxury videos right here. Don't forget to watch another expensive video right here.